everyone welcome back to the channel panthers school in this video we will talk about uh, how to create the work items how to work on those work items and then how to deploy those work items to the upper environment which could be uat or it could be integration staging or production environment in the previous video we have talked about how to install and set up and configure devops center inside your own salesforce developer org so if you have missed that previous video you will get the link of the video into the description of the video you can go ahead watch that video and then you can start this video from here itself before we go ahead please do like share subscribe the channel and also ask your friends or colleagues to subscribe this channel so that whenever we upload a new video related to salesforce or any other technology you are able to get the notification from us now let's quickly start log into your salesforce org open devops center and then here you will be able to see your project which you have created by the, with the help of previous video we have recorded now click here uh, click on the project name in order to open the project and again you will see you will be directed over here into the work item by default you will not be seeing any work item over here i have created that is why i am able to see the work items over here now before we create let's quickly talk about what work items are work items are basically the user stories or the requirement what uh, whatever the requirement has been given to you as a developer or as an admin which you need to configure or which you, you need to develop in the environment that environment will be the one that we have uh, configured in the previous video like the scratch org or the sandbox where you will be developing now let's quickly create a very simple work item over here so you will see this new work item button over here click on that it is going to open a pop up over here with minimum fields there are only three fields subject uh, we can say that we have given the subject name which is create candidate and recruiter object so subject is basically the high level title for your requirement that is what we have given over here create candidate and recruiter object if you have high level or certain other information uh, we will say that the low level details like so what should be the multiple information about object like uh, are you wanted to create a tab or you wanted to allow the user to search the candidate records or what should be the name field either a text or auto number so that is all detail you can put inside description and you can also put your acceptance criteria for example as a hr manager or as an hr user i should be able to create candidate i should be able to create the recruiters then assigned to this is the lookup to the user so here you will be seeing the users so select yourself because you are the user who is having the access to devops center go ahead and click on save now once you click on save you will see now your work item will be over here so the work item is 002 which we have just created with the subject you can clearly see over here now if you go ahead and open this work item now the time is to start you have to mark this work item as a in progress that means work in progress so how you will be doing that so first thing this is the detail page of your work item okay now if you go to the details here again you can edit like you can put the description you can change the assigned to but these are again uh, depends on the permission that has been assigned to you as a user label the permission set now under changes how you would like how you would like to work there are two ways either you work with the devops center or you work on the changes and you manually upload those changes to your github with the help of github command so this is the recommended way i want to develop and commit my changes to the work item feature branch from devops center that means what will happen it will automatically create a feature branch for you inside your repository the repository which we have authenticated 
and then once you will be making the changes after that you will come over here and we will commit the changes so what we will do is we'll select the first option select which environment you wanted to develop so we have only one sandbox which is dev1 that is why we are getting the option for dev1 only if you authenticate with the multiple sandboxes then you will get multiple options over there so you need to choose your sandbox which you want to use for the development go ahead click on proceed once you click on proceed your branch will be created into your uh, github into your github repository you will see the success message created branch and this is the name of your branch now you will see the status has been changed to in progress and under changes you are able to see these are the changes which are currently there in your org now if you wanted to see the branch you will see the branch is there on the bottom of your page bottom right where you will see github.com and then the name of your github and then the repository name tree and then branch name if you click on that url it will open a branch for you the branch the branch which has been created now you can see there are three branches main uat and the feature branch which we have just created now to open your org you just need to click on this dev1 and once you click on dev1 it is going to open the scratch org that you have authenticated with or the sandbox org that you have authenticated let's say we are going to create an object the two object we have talked about as a part of user story so we will quickly go ahead and create two object and that will be one will be candidate and one will be recruit and for both the objects we will be creating the custom tab as well so once you are done with the creation of object and custom tab now say you have completed creation of object and custom tab now what you need to do is you need to commit these changes to the github repository so that your team lead can review the changes and then those changes can be promoted to the next environment that could be you at integration hotfix staging or any other environment so again what you have to do is you have to go to the work items tab open the work item you are working with and once you click on the name of your work item the auto number then you will see there is a button called pull changes you can just click on that button what it is going to do is it is going to start pulling the changes from your target environment where you have developed the changes now if you see here earlier we had only six files now we had 14 files now if you see recruiter this is the like recruiter one is custom object one is a list view and one is custom tab similarly we have got for candidate and these are the six things and then we have also got the layout for candidate and recruiter so these are the eight items which you have just modified you will see the name over here as well okay and you can clearly say this is change this is add 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 then again these are the changes we have now once you have got this select the appropriate metadata which you want and then you just need to give the commit over here the message the proper message which you wanted to display over github so we, we will say that created candidate and recruiter object along with the tab okay now we have created and then you can just you will be seeing a blue button on the right right bottom corner you will see there is the button called commit changes so just go ahead select that button and once you click on that button what it will do is it will commit the changes into your github repository the branch that is associated with this work item in this case the branch name is work item and then uh, some leading zeros too okay so it is just committing the changes once the changes are committed we will see a success message called commit complete and then again you will see now there are only six files now if you get back to your repository if you have already opened just um, navigate there and refresh this page once you refresh this page you will see right there is a commit message next to this folder force app main default if you open this 
you will see there is a tab there is object just to make sure the changes are there you can click on object and you will see right they, these are your two object which has been populated over here which has been uploaded to our github repository now what you need to do is you know that changes are done everything is good now you have to tell your lead that okay uh, i am done with the changes now go ahead and review so how we will make sure or how we will say that this work item is ready for review so you will see there is a button called create review so click on that button what it will do is behind the scene it will create a pull request okay and it will also change the status to in review now your lead will come okay and then lead will open this work item and then it will see view change request is a button and once he or she click on that they will see that there is a pull request which is open and ready to merge okay now the lead will go there into the pull request and we'll see what are the commits are there and after checking the changes related to that commit like uh, whatever all the layouts and every single thing once he or she thinks that uh, the changes are ready to promote like we can send it to uat right so how that uh, how the lead will mark this as ready for uat or ready to promote so for that we'll just click on this ready to promote this is the toggle button that le leads need to check and as soon as it is going to check the radio button is going to toggle then you will see the status has been changed now once the status is changed to ready to promote you cannot make changes if you want to make changes then you have to again your lead had to uh, again toggle this button to make mark the status as in review so once that is ready for in review now either your lead or if the, there is a complete release team they will be able to quickly deploy how they will be able to deploy is go to the work items sorry not work items go to the pipeline and under the stages you will see approved work items approved so whatever the work items are marked as ready to promote those work items will be here under approved work item whatever the work items which has been deployed to uat will be over here under uat and then whatever we have deployed to production we will see over here now for example we want to deploy this to uat so what we will do is we'll select this and we will click on promote selected so once you click on promote selected what it will do is it will open a pop up for you to ask what kind of deployment you want either all the metadata which is there in the uat stage branch or only the changes which are not there in uat stage so we will select this one this is the most recommended way so that we only deploy the changes which are not there into the target environment which is uat what are the tips of test options so you can either select default or you can select run all tests or you can select run specified test so we will keep this default as a selected and then promote it so once you click on promote you will see here promoting one into like basically one item into uat now whatever the operations are being done behind the scene it will basically what it will do is it will fetch whatever the metadata is there in the branch then it is going to merge that uh, branch with to your uat branch and then it will be basically deploying and once it is deployed you will see that now under uat there are two user stories there are two work items that are ready to promote now once you are done you are done with the testing what you will do is you will say okay you can just go ahead you can just click on this promote as a work item bundle so what will happen all these will be deployed to production and if you want to see what were the changes were there what was uh, what is a source control in the branch you can just select those and then it will open your branch and you will be able to see all those things now if you let's go ahead click on this promote as work item bundle and here it will ask what what is the version what version you wanted to deploy to production let's say that 
and saying it v2 again whatever the changes we wanted to deploy leave as it is default and promote it so once you promote again it will say that promoting uat that means whatever the changes are there in uat that are being to being promoted to production now so you will be quickly seeing here whatever it is doing cloning repository merging branches into uat and then now it is it has started deploying and you will be able to see the details over here this time we have only deployed the changes which are not having any development just the custom configurations but still we got the error if you see here promotion fails if you click on view detail it will take you to the activity history and we will see why the promotion was failed so here v2 work items okay there is error details if you click on it will say uh, invoice all of the list view failed to deploy due to entity invoice not found so basically there are uh, some error custom object name invoice is not there in the prod and we are not having that into the prod that's why we are getting the error but that is how basically you go ahead and deploy into the production now if you want to get back to your work items again you can easily get back to your work items so that is how basically you deploy the changes to your higher environment with the help of devops centers so this is it for this video thank you for your time if you have any questions please feel free to put down into the comment section and i'll definitely help you and again please do like and subscribe the channel also join our telegram channel and uh, we will meet into the next video with some interesting updates thank you